Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I want to present you another RBA for your borrow tanks. And this one is the Wicked Bridge D2, the Panda and Germany edition. So this is going to be pretty much unboxing or a first look or a, yeah, first build on it. Because I had no intention of buying this product to be honest, but I made a deal with a mod and and needed to buy this with the mod in order to get the deal done. So yeah, okay, yeah, I took it. But I had no real intention of buying this product for myself. But okay, yeah. so here we go. This is a little box that it comes in, a little case. You get a bunch of stuff. You will get a sticker, of course a spares bag with some spare rings, post screws and an Allen key. You will get this little rubber thingy, which I don't know what it's for you will get a bunch of airflow pins but we'll i'll show you sizes and all that in a minute you will get one tool then it also comes with hybrid drip tip for your yeah, billet box hybrid drip tip the way that this works is you just unscrew this and they will give you two options so you get this one or you get this one with a narrower bore yeah, it's kind of nice that they include a hybrid drip tip. They will also give you a pillet box button and then one adapter, a build adapter. This is one of the main reasons why I was not interested in the, to buy this bridge because I don't like to buy RBAs or bridges that where you need to have an adapter to build it. I don't like that. I avoid buying them. So yeah, that's why I never was interested in, in this RBA. And then here you go. This is it. This is the wicked bridge d2 on one side you've got the panda design on it on the other side you will have the germany edition because i've seen on a on a on website that you can buy this in lots of different editions lots of different country countries well this is the germany edition you can see him here with his later hosen and his beer in his hand so go the design of the RBA by itself, yeah, you've seen this before on, on a lot of other RBAs. It looks uh, vape shell esque. I mean, yeah. there are plenty of other out there. And I've also seen, I remember watching some reviews or videos about this and, and other versions of this RBA long time ago, last year or yeah, even longer. So there must be many variations of this RBA out there. I don't know what the differences are. I'm just going to show you what I got over here. So the fit and finish on this product yeah, looks kind of good. I mean, if there's any scratches on it or anything, that's not caused by me. That's from the previous owner. This is not brand new. One thing I'm already annoyed by is the wobble here on the chimney, which is just held in with an O-ring, but got a, a nice wobble there. Don't like that. You can see where your liquid will come in. This splits up into halves. See some cutouts and tabs to align these parts. Of course, you can change them around, which will look weird. This is what the chamber looks on the inside. I have to say, machining on this is pretty well done. Where is this thing made? I guess it's made in China, right? I'm not really sure, but my guess would be that it's made in China. The bore on the chimney, four millimeters. And then this is what your deck looks like. Also, nothing special here. I mean, you've seen a design like this before on other RBAs. Yeah, most of them look alike, right? So you got your posts over here. And then to remove or replace, swap out an airflow pin, just unscrew it. This must be the 3.5 millimeter. And then they will give you other airflow pins as well. You've got a one millimeter airflow pin. You've got a 2.5 millimeter airflow pin. You've got a three millimeter airflow pin, 3.5. And then the biggest airflow pin is a four millimeter. So for the people that like to get the most amount of airflow, 
they can go for the four millimeter. I'm going for 3.5. And then you also have this little tool that they give you in order to use that tool. You need to yeah, stick it in over here. And this way, I guess you can unscrew. Yeah, you can unscrew this contact and the post will come loose if you do that. But yeah, there's no need for that. But if you really want to clean it out or you can do it this way with this little tool. So now uh, let me put a build inside of this, put the airflow pin back in first. Nice and tight. And then you have to use the adapter to build it. Screw the adapter on, loosen up those posts. You can fit up pretty decent coils inside of this. Yeah. Bit of break post hole openings. The coil that I'm gonna use is one of these coils by Dennis RBA single alien can see the specs of the coil right here, but it's not a 2.5. I made it a little bit bigger. I made it to three millimeter for this coil. So yeah, don't mind the ohm value. It will change a little bit because I made it into a three millimeter because this deck can easily house three millimeter coils, as you can see. So that's why I made it into a three millimeter. Then mounting the coil in pretty easy, pretty straightforward as well. First to one leg and then the other one. I'm guessing on this RBA, I'm going to have to cut the wires for super short in order for them to not short out on the chamber. So put my flush cutters to work. Yeah, that seems fine. And the other one. That will be fine to make it to make it real sure that it's fine. Just push back on the leads a little bit. This won't cause me any issues now. And then coil height on this. I'll probably drop it as low as the coil jig will let me. See, just rest my quill jig on there and that's probably the height that I'm going for. Let me check with the chamber on there. Mm, nah, I might drop the quill down a little bit more even. Oh yeah, I'm dropping the coil down. Yeah, this will be fine. Got enough clearance from the top of the chamber. Yeah. So this is what I'm going for, for the coil height and everything. Yeah, this will be fine. I mean, it's not the first time I built an RBA like this. So now let me prepare this coil and move hot spots and so on. And we'll see you back in a minute. So here we are again, I got my curl prepared. I've already pulled some cotton through. Now to wig this, I'm just gonna wig this like I would do on any other rectangular RBA. So I'm just gonna keep it this way and then I'm just gonna cut off my cotton pretty much along with the edges of the RBA. And start from here and then simply just tuck that cotton in. I mean, if it's the same as on all the other RBAs, square or the yeah, rectangular RBAs that I had, this will be the same thing wicking wise. We will do just fine. I mean, it's not rocket science. 
of course don't overpack it you know one a good saturation on my coil drop some liquid on there I call this job done chamber back on drop this in a tank and in a mod So I got it in the MK Boro, the MK Alpha Boro mod. This build ohmed out at 0.33 ohms, and I'm starting in this off at 30 watts. And this pretty much vapes as I would have expected it to vape. I mean, it is not something innovative or revolutionary, this RBA. I mean, it's like many others out there i started off pretty much the first uh, rba i ever bought was uh, the vape shell well this is pretty much the same with an updated deck right so yeah. let me show you a little clip of me vaping this and then i'll come back with my uh, final opinion on it So here we are again, you saw me vape on this 30 watts on this 0.330, that's more than enough for me. I've got the 3.5 millimeter airflow pin underneath the coil, 3 millimeter ID coil, that works out fine in this pretty big deck. The flavor, it's a good flavor, I mean, there's nothing to complain about the flavor on this RB8, it vapes fine. The airflow, yeah, of course, you can adjust it with a bunch of airflow pins that they give you as of stock, which is a nice thing that you don't have to buy this in a separate op optional extra. So you can go from a one, one, one millimeter, 2.5, 3, 3.5, and 4 millimeters. So yeah. MTL wise, there's only one, the, the airflow pin, the one millimeter pin, and the rest is pretty much all loose MTL or restricted direct lung. But that's what I like, restricted direct lung. Easy to build on. I mean, you saw me build on it. Easy to drop the coil in. Just make sure you cut the leads very, very short. To wick as well. I mean, I have no issues wicking an RBA like this. Nope. It's pretty straightforward. I just, as you see me do it. I just cut my cotton off along with the rectangular edge of the RBA, put it in, and yeah, this is fine. I mean, this won't leak on me. It's nice that they give you hybrid drip tip as well with two different models. So that's a nice thing, nice touch. And also, a nice touch is the billet box button. I mean, I'll probably never use this, but it's nice that they give you this. I mean, yeah. The only thing I'm not a fan of is an RBA with an adapter to build it. I don't like that. I like my the threaded 510 on the RBAs. Makes life much easier than to search for an adapter. But if this is the only bridge that you, the only RBA that you use, of course, yeah, this, this adapter is not a big deal. So this will set you back. I've seen this on, on some sites, I can't mention the sites, you know, just Google it. In Europe for 188 euro for this RBA. So, as I said in the beginning of the video, I was not, it was not my intention to buy this to make a video for, nope. I got it in a package deal with a mod and that's why I make this video. This was a first look for me as well. So I cannot tell you how the MTL vapes, nope. Just first look, first build, and I just put the coil in, the, a coil in that I like, that I know, and an airflow pin that I like as well, which, which suits me. And it vapes fine, flavor is good, airflow is good, easy to build on. So yeah, I'm done talking about it, I showed you everything that I can, and that was it for me guys. So I will see you later, take care, bye bye.